So, setting up a WooCommerce store in 30 minutes or less. Actually, um, setting up is like five to 10 minutes once you do it for first time, the second time, third time. Setting up is super easy. You only have to install a plugin and that's it. But uh, we're going to walk a little through, a little overview on how to install WooCommerce and how to install uh, WordPress. And I have a demo at the end of the, of the presentation, like how I set up like a little affiliate store. So you can check that it's, in reality, it's pretty easy. And from there, we can jump to questions or we can jump to Gora. Uh, later, the questions at the end. We'll see. Thanks to Valentine and John and General Assembly, anyway, for everything. And let's go. So, this is me. Uh, my name is Gabriel Maldonado, or Gabriel. I'm a happiness engineer at Automatic. And I don't work with uh, WooCommerce. I work uh, with WordPress.com. But I was working with WooCommerce before joining Automatic as a developer. Uh, not with them, but uh, for third parties, customers that I had, etc. So as a freelancer. And I was doing for them plugins and just set up few stores and maybe themes and things like that. So I quite played with it a lot. So normally, uh, when you start, you are choosing why WooCommerce. Uh, you have all the systems, you have all the CMS. Uh, normally, you have those questions like which has more features, uh, which cheaper, better looking, more flexible, uh, which is easiest to work with. We assume, or I am assuming, that you already chose WooCommerce <laughs> because you are here today. Okay. But uh, basically, uh, on the feature side, uh, you have a base plugin that does almost everything for you. And on top of that, you have uh, extensions. And those extensions, I mean, um, you can get almost anything. Uh, it's much more uh, accessible right now to have an e-commerce store that was years ago. Because you really don't need um, a developer. You only need to follow up a few tutorials, maybe, or have little IT knowledge to have a store up and running in maybe a day or two. Of course, won't be exactly how you want, or of course, won't be exactly how you uh, are thinking about it, because you will need more maybe knowledge on how to set up everything or how those little, little details. But for having a, a minimum viable product running, like imagine you open a business today and you can have a store tomorrow online and you can start to sell. And well, we will get rid of the details in the future. So that's super easy. Uh, and also an overview on where's e-commerce in general hit it. Uh, you know that it's growing every year. I don't know data about it, but for example, in Spain, my country, on Christmas, from 2015 Christmas to Christmas 2016, the e-commerce purchases for Christmas augmented between 60 and 70%. That's in one year. So either you choose WooCommerce or you choose any other platform, e-commerce is growing. I mean, every day we are more lazy maybe to go to a store or things that were, yeah, we are, or things that before were kind of scary us, like, oh, will that shirt fit on me? Will those shoes fit on me? Maybe I have to go to the store to test them on. Uh, nowadays, most of us always or sometimes purchase something online and that is a trend. And also, as I said before, it's much more accessible. Before, like a few years ago, if you wanted to have an e-commerce store, you have to have a team of developers or some developer uh, or some contractor for taking care of the billing, for taking care of the security, for taking care of everything. Nowadays, everything is more or less prepackaged. And with a few plugins or just with the core functionality, you can set it and run. And sometimes, uh, of course, it's run on WordPress, so sometimes you get that question, like, uh, how many orders can we take on a certain time period, or, or if it has some limitations because of the WordPress infrastructure. Um, actually, for like 99% of e-commerce in the world, it's more than enough. Uh, right now, if I'm not mistaken, uh, the problem would be how many orders can we take in a certain time period. So that's rewriting to the database every time you want to do a purchase or you want to do something. And if I'm not mistaken, at the moment it's like 10,000 per hour, and that can work well. So uh, if you are selling 10,000 somethings or you are selling you do some 10,000 actions per hour, I think you're pretty good for trying WooCommerce and keeping with it. And in any case, that can be solved 
because the future of WooCommerce also have to think on how the WP API will work with it. For example, imagine that you have uh, something that is taking a lot of um, performance. Imagine that you have a tracker on place to see how many, how many customers are leaving the, the, the cart. Okay? So imagine that 80% of customers are leaving the cart and you want to keep track of it. Right now, or how it's built until now, is those, uh, that requires uh, infrastructure because you have to write data and see what's happening. So with the WP API, you could have, for example, a third application on top of WordPress, and you can track it there, and the e-commerce will run anyway on the bottom. So that won't affect. So that's pretty nice, and in the future, the future looks super nice for that. So let's start. What do you need? I don't know how many of you set up a worker, uh, WooCommerce store. Can you? OK. So uh, of course, you need hosting. You need uh, WordPress, and you need WooCommerce plugin. You need a domain. And you need something to sell. That's important. Uh, but you will see in the demo how even if you don't have something to sell, there is people who has something to sell, and you can help them, and in the middle, get something in return. So hosting. Hosting is uh, actually a personal preference. Uh, more or less, if you are starting or you have a little store or you have a medium store, more or less every hosting is more or less the same. Okay? So you can go with DigitalOcean, you can go with Bluehost, you can go with GoDaddy, you can go, go with a lot of them. Uh, for the demo, I choose Pressable because you only have to click in one button to install. Okay? Normally, it's the five minute install and it takes a couple of buttons, it's like not that complicated, but with Pressable it's like one. And super easy. Uh, WordPress and WooCommerce, okay, you install, you download and install WordPress and you go to the plugins and install WooCommerce. But as I said, with uh, Pressable, it's just one click and it's done. So that's the click. You write the name of the staging website and you click add new site. Great. That's it, you don't have to do anything else. No database, not anything. So as you can see here, the, in this case, the demo is called My Wood Testing Store, and that's the staging uh, environment. And well, settings and WP Admin. Okay? Uh, later, you only have to go to the, the plugins and use download WooCommerce, and you can see we have this kind of uh, wizard. And it's four steps. You can even set it up later if you want. Uh, it's just like to pre-create something that you can work with, okay? So you click, let's go, and finally, map your domain. That's not actually necessary at the beginning. So you might not have a domain for now. Maybe you still didn't decide the name of your store, or you had an old domain and you're trying to see how you're going to do. Even if you don't have any domain, for the moment, the store will be called like uh, my staging website, my Google testing, whatever. Okay, in my case, I bought the domain name Awesome Store. And the only thing you have to do here is just put it. And of course, in your register, you change the DNS to point pressable. And that's it, live. So this process, the first time you do it, can take maybe half an hour because you are never sure what are you clicking. Like, oh, this, this big button here that says next, but <laughs> what if I mess up? Okay, so it can take like, okay, 30 minutes, but when you have to do it for a second time, as you saw, we only click once to install, we download the plugin, we set the domain, five minutes, created the store. Okay, so when you install WooCommerce, uh, you have new things. Okay, normally you have the WooCommerce tab over there, you have the products, and there is also created new pages. Uh, the WooCommerce one, it, you can see there's the order tracking, you have coupons you can create, reporting about what, what have you done, you have the settings. You also have system status, that's normally helpful for debugging. Imagine you have something happening and you're not sure what's happening that doesn't work well or for some reason, and normally you ask for support or you want to get help, uh, go into system status and see if something is red. It's really helpful because somebody will know what's happening there. And also well, more extensions. Uh, you don't want to go with the core product because we'll see later that there is later extensions. Uh, you'll find them. Also, it's not just easy for new like entrepreneurs to have a store set up, but also for maybe developers. So you as a developer can have, maybe you're having a problem 
I don't know, for example, if Singapore has some specificity, but uh, in Spain, for example, we have only one like public system of delivery. What happens if you have a Spanish store, maybe you don't have access to that system of delivery because nobody created it. If you're a developer and maybe you invest three, four days a week and create a little extension, even if it's not perfect, you can explore that in the future. But if you uh, add it, uh, a lot of people can benefit from it and of course you, okay? And well, that's the second tab. Uh, products you can, that's like the posts and pages more or less, but you have products now. So a product, add categories for the products, are tags, attributes, and all products. And that is pre-created when you, when you install WordPress, uh, when you install WooCommerce, sorry. Uh, you have those pre-created, you have a card, you have a checkout, you have a Mac account, and a sample page, and the shop, normally shop is set to the front page, so you have all the items there. But, well, that's pre-created, so you don't have to create them manually, and you can do whatever you want with them, okay? Normally, even if you, for example, in the demo, uh, you don't have a card because it's an affiliate store, mm -hmm. so they, when they click, they go directly to the other store. You can just let the card there, but not use it, okay? And if you want to start, normally, I like to start with the settings. Because even if uh, WooCommerce, when they're starting, a little, a few years ago was a little more complicated. Not complicated, but uh, you have to spend some more time there. Because it was like, I don't know, a few steps, you have to set up uh, where are you living, where are you not living, which kind of taxes are you using, everything. Now you can kind of skip all of this at the beginning and come back later and fix it. But uh, this was not set up by me. So I live in Spain, Malayalik Island, and was already set up automatically. Okay? So you only come here double check that everything's okay and change whatever you need to change and that's it and well something to sell you can sell everything i mean you can sell physical products you can sell digital products like for example you have an ebook okay so when they uh the purchase they can download the ebook uh you can have a subscriptions for example they pay you monthly for something and when they stop they they Get, um, they get no access anymore. Uh, you can have a bookings place, like in the sense of not only hotels, but for example, when I was freelancing, I used this uh, plugin to book my hours. So you don't kind of, yes, you don't kind of want to deal with some um, scope creep and you want to know how much are you investing in each client every time. And I start to experiment with, look, my hour costs this price, and you can book hours. And on this day, for example, I have those hours. So I was doing blocks. Uh, in my case, I prefer to focus in one thing at the same time, not in multiple things. So if I had several products, uh, you can enter a certain page and you can book yourself. Like, okay, I want you Monday work with my project. And they just book the time, pay for it, and when Monday arrives, I'm working for them. Or maybe just like block. Uh, maybe I'm busy until next month. If you want to keep working with me or if you want to work with me next month, uh, just book it. Just book it, go ahead. Because if you don't book it, maybe another person will book it instead of you. So you can always play with this, okay? So you see bookings not only for hotels, it's for hotels actually. But yeah, you have service or you have, uh, in my case, I was freelancing. I saw it also in uh, yoga lessons, uh, yoga teachers. So you have 10 spots in one hour. You can play with that. Memberships. Uh, drop shipping um, and affiliates, that will be the last one we'll be doing. Well, awesome store. So, as you can see when you go to products, for example, I had a new product, like it was a new <coughs> post, for example, I'm writing, and you can, you have this little uh, method box that is created already with several options, like inventory, link of products. That can be super complex, I mean, it can be as complex as you want. You can just go with the flow and as it is, but you can do little of, a lot of little things to, for example, upsell. Imagine you are selling, I don't know, related products like a keyboard, um, mouse and something, and somebody buys the keyboard. So up here, for example, you can link, oh, will be, you be interested in a mouse? And maybe they are. So yeah, in this case, uh, as you can see that you don't need any plugin for that. The affiliates, it's already uh, in core. 
so in WooCommerce, so you can check there. And you will see there is, uh, well, just behind, it says something like external URL of the product. There is where the affiliate will be. Okay, so when you generate the new product, you'll see later. Uh, it's already created the button and everything. So when somebody clicks in buy now, they will be redirected to that link. Okay, uh, in this case, for example, I use Amazon. Um, you can have a lot of affiliates and that works differently depending on the business you're working with. For example, you are selling, I don't know, imagine you have a blog, a travel blog, and you want to get some commission from selling um, rooms or hotels with a goal, like, oh, I've been in Singapore, and this hotel was super nice. Here is the link. Somebody clicks there, maybe it works differently. With Amazon, they kind of set a cookie on the user end. So in around, I think it's 24 hours, but whatever the user buys in those 24 hours, if it was going through your link, that commission is for you. So even if I'm selling books, and the guy or the user click on the book, but he later decides to buy perfume, that commission from the perfume goes to me. Because I send them to Amazon, Amazon is gaining money, and of course, I get a part of it, okay? So in this case, I set up a kind of store, like, I want to make it as much as possible, so I didn't even download the images for that. I just went to Amazon, went to the code of the, well, yeah, inspector tools, and just grabbed the link of the image. Okay, in this case, this quadcopter. Uh, later in your account, you just grab the affiliate link, they give you that, and you just put it together like it was a post. So, title, description, the picture, and as you see, the link, as we saw before. And there you go. We have a quadcopter for sale. So, that's it. I don't have that quadcopter in my home. I don't have to deal with it. But if anybody wants it, just click on it. They purchase, purchase it from somebody else. I get my part. And that's a test I did with my friends, actually. So, when I set up the store, I, in, I have a WhatsApp group with some of my friends. <laughs> and I tell them, oh, look, this store is awesome. They have a lot of little things. And actually, they didn't buy anything there. <laughs> but, <laughs> but they bought wine, uh, cobra. Uh, oh, it's in Spanish, so it's like a ear thing, earplugs, I think the name. This is something for cooking. And those are printer, pad drives. And this is a book. OK, so as you can see, uh, this is like, you get between. 10 and 5% of the sales. And well, of course, now the store doesn't have any traffic, so that's it. <laughs> but yeah, it was nice to see that it actually works, actually works. So they went to Amazon, they bought something else, maybe that day, maybe the next day, and I got the tracking of that somebody bought that and you get this commission, so that's great. Thank you, WooCommerce. And, well, there's extensions, as I said before, you have the core product, but maybe you have a super, I don't know, you want to invest more in your store, you want to make it bigger, you want to, you want to have every detail control. So, for example, imagine you have, that's more or less, I grab a bunch of the most known uh, extensions. Uh, CSV import suite, for example, imagine you have already an Excel file with all your products, all your prices, all everything. I don't want to do one by one. Install, upload, you have it there. Okay. And well, the bookings, the, you have composite products, you have dynamic pricings, follow-up follow up emails, like they you saw something, and that kind of follow-ups with the customer every th uh, three days. Oh, is everything all right? Things like that. Uh, Membership, subscription, simple actions. You can create a little eBay. I mean, you can create with this plugin that uh, allows you to create auctions. Maybe you don't want to sell. Maybe you do manual, something manual. That costs you a lot of time because it's really something special. And you can, maybe you create one a week or two a week. And people are interested in that. So let them auction for it instead of selling it to fixed price. For example, my uncle, uh, I have an uncle in Portugal, he do masks with wooden. And I set for him a little uh, e-commerce store with simple auctions. And it's working pretty nice. Because he do this, do this in his free time. So maybe one week he has one, but maybe later he don't have any product for the next three weeks. And yeah, he just put it there and people know him. He just telling his Facebook or something, oh, new mask, he created new mask. And yeah, that's it. 
and that's a new change that happened around a week ago, I think it was last Friday. So now, for example, um, you need a WooCommerce.com account to connect with GoCommerce.com. What happens, uh, the thing is if you have, for example, you are a developer and you have five or six, five or six customers and you are developing stores for them, uh, normally they are paying you to deal with it. With, to deal with the store, to deal with uh, something fails, you have to fix it and everything. So uh, if you connect their stores to WooCommerce through WordPress.com, you can manage the accounts from there. Okay. So in this case, as you can see, uh, it's like as easy as before. Uh, when you log in, well, I didn't show you, but if you see the app, it says sign in with WordPress.com. Okay. Uh, when you click there you will have that screen to see if, uh, if you don't have a WooCommerce account before that or you have an existing WooCommerce account. That was not, uh, that's not meant for everybody actually, but if you bought extensions or something, you want to have access to this to see maybe your purchase history, the tickets you are sending to support so you can keep track of it and the customer doesn't want to, I mean the user that, that purchased your time for, for developing the store doesn't want to know anything about that. It's like he wants to know why his store is not working, for example. And that's for, for you to manage. Okay, so uh, yeah, you create the account. And that's it, you will see this little screen also, like extend WooCommerce if you need some extensions. And one WooCommerce 101, it's like tutorials and videos. And that's it, then you will arrive here. So from here you can like renew licenses, you can update credit cards, you can follow up with uh, tickets for support. As I said, that's not uh, necessary because you can just install the WooCommerce and run with it. But if you buy extensions, that will be necessary to keep track of how everything is going. And thanks, that's it. Uh, we're hiring also, <laughs> as always. So apply at aromatic.com and work with, uh, slash work with us. If you have any doubt, if you want to ask some questions, if you are not sure, if anything at all, we're going to be here. So I just ask us anything. And we also can give you some hints or something. For example, uh, somebody asked me today, oh, but I don't want to apply because I don't have a degree in IT. Me neither. I mean, three years ago, I didn't even know what WordPress was. So don't let that hold you, OK? If you are interested in all this world and you want to keep, want to keep learning and you are interested in automatic, just ask us anything okay and i think that was well not even 30 minutes so thank you